Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim, here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really good. Let's get it right. Let's get right into your reading. So, um, we are gonna ask your spirit guides and your angels to give us messages. And of course, um, try to come to a next 40 hour, eight hour message for you. What's the issue for Pisces? What's the issue? Whoa! Okay, a lot. Jeez. The freaking thing came out. Okay. Whew. Messages for Pisces. What's the issue? issue is your Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> so it is about maybe family, uh, generational wealth here too. Something like that. Tell me about the challenge. The challenge may be, honestly, it might be about transparency because it is the challenge. It's the Seven of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So, um, has to do with seeing uh, something for what it is and something to do about wealth. Tell me about the heart of the matter. Oh. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, it's paired with the Three of Cups. So... Getting this to work out regarding some kind of reunion, family get together, friend get together, um, having something work out that's at the heart of the matter. Um, getting all together, being together, um, safe, secure with the Ten of Pentacles. That's, um, yeah, I mean, that's security for a long time. What's the past energy? Past energy is the Hierophant energy, number five. Hierophant. Something traditional, something um, regarding commitment. Maybe this was a marriage. Crowning you is the four of wands, which is, that is going to make a big move. Um, and it might be a new house. It might have to do with that. Um... It might have to do with a lot of things, actually. We are going to clarify, so we'll use a different deck to clarify. What is the uh, future energy? Future energy, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. How do you feel? How do you feel? The Ten of Wands, it's a challenge. How you're feeling? Tell me about in the environment. Ooh, that's a lot. I guess we'll take it. In the environment, the Seven of Pentacles, the Devil Energy, the High Priestess in Reverse. And the Judgment in Reverse. Tell me about the hope or fear. The eight of cups in the reverse. The outcome. And the three of wands as a challenge. 
challenging outcome. But it is about um, vision. It's about creativity and making something work. Even if um, it took a while to get it moving is the message here. Um, definitely there is contemplation um, regarding forgiveness or giving somebody, granting somebody forgiveness. It all has to do with uh, the Capricorn energy and the High Priestess energy. That's Pisces and Capricorn energy uh, plus yeah, so that's your energy plus the uh, Sagittarius energy and maybe even maybe even a Virgo. All right, so you could feel like very fed up at this point. You could feel like um, like there's not much more that you could do in a situation. Um, and in that sense, we also have the Hermit with the Lantern. And the hermit here is uh, talking about finding that lantern or that light inside of yourself. Um, so at the heart of the matter, it is getting some introspection. And, and it is being able to have like time to ooh, think. There's an issue about needing to trust yourself regarding some kind of forgiveness. Tell me about uh, the heart of the matter because this is some kind of celebration and we want to know how that um, ends up working out. The Queen of Pentacle energy. So there's the Queen of Pentacle energy celebrating celebration, abundance, head over domestic things, but also could be home business that you're talking about or getting that to work. It's a positive sign for your pentacles when you see the queen of pentacles come out as a clarifying card, especially when the issue is already your ten of pentacles. So that's kind of like guaranteed. We also have 10-10 here, which is, um, you know, about divine timing. And temperance energy. Tell me about the uh, past energy here with the Hierophant and the Empress in a reverse. Reunion or getting back together with an old project or with something that you have been passionate about before, about creating. Tell me about the big move with the uh, Four of Wands. It's the Knight of Wands reverse, so it's just reiterating um, whatever isn't moving forward, like it will be. It's just, um, yeah, it's the next 48 hours. So, so patience, patience, divine timing, right? Tell me about how you feel with this um, kind of like doing the best you can right here. Oh, okay. And maybe a little bit undecided or um, trying to postpone making some kind of decision. Postponing making some kind of decision. And it may be associated with Libra energy here too. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse. That's a lot. We'll take it. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. The King of Cups, reverse, C, and the Five of Pentacles, reverse, which, by the way, is, in my readings, basically the same as the Ten of Pentacles because it is coming out of some kind of hardship or bind. So the news is good when you see the Five of Pentacles. So you feel like this is good news. This is good. And then it is. <laughs> and then it is. Yeah, okay, so you feel like possibly wondering where your ninth cup is or where your wish granted is. Um, the king of cups energy is in the reverse. So something just might be needing to be adjusted regarding mood. Oh, there's the eight of pentacles. Yeah, Okay, that's, I feel like this is clarifying this environment energy of what's going to get working. 888, another sign for good prosperity and abundance. It's actually 8888, four eights. That's significant. Tell me about the three of wands 
Well, we have the lover's energy tying together the celebration and the queen of pentacles. So that is what is being focused on what's needing to work out. It has to do with the lover's energy, which is good. It's um the lover's card, which it could mean a partnership being formed or an existing one from the past here with the Hierophant in the past. It's also associated with Gemini's energy and Aries energy. High Priestess in the reverse. That's part of this outcome. So this is, I mean, okay, so this is a little bit of you not feeling like you. However, the lover's energy is here with the three of wands. So this does have to do with um, uh, vi your vision, with your vision and being at a crossroads. Well, there's your ten of cups. Now you got ten, ten, ten. Huge completions. Three huge completions is what's coming up uh, in this next 48 hour for you. Yeah, so that's what I've got on the bottom of the deck. I have the moon in reverse. So it's really all about also trusting yourself, trusting your own intuition, trusting your own guidance here. And we're going to pull um, some of the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur entrepreneurship cards too. Just let's see what we get for extra advice. I have train. Exercise daily to keep your body and spirit strong, healthy, and full of energy that you need to build your business. And I have broadcast on the air. Develop your unique voice and then get your message out. Um, get it out to your ideal audience and consider starting a podcast or a radio show. Set goals. Get a beautiful planner that inspires you to write down your dreams and goals and then promise yourself that you will make it come true. And contribute. Build your authority by creating content for your own website and guest posting on popular blogs in your niche. In your niche. Niche. Okay. Oh, okay. And try not to work too hard. This Ten of Wands can indicate some exhaustion, so I guess that's why this is popping out. It says, long and challenging as this journey is, it is worth the struggle. The results are long-term and worth every sacrifice made along the way. And then I have love popping out on the hermit. So this is what you find within yourself more than likely. And for others, with that Ten of Cups, it's the fairy tales. Um, come true cards for me. So it says love. It says before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. It will flow into your soul. Okay. And some spirit animal oracle. Okay, I have Canary Spirit, Sing Your Own Song, Pretty um, Canary on a Flute, number 12. I also have 65, Whale Spirit, Trust the Great Mystery. 13, Cat Spirit, Claim Your Independence. 42, Otter Spirit, You Are Never Alone. 62, Turtle Spirit, Slow and Steady wins the race. So this is possibly the most likely thing is about your pentacles and your family's um, wealth and happiness. And that's, uh, it's a good thing. Slow and Steady wins the race. So that's what I've got for you guys. Let's pull um, an angel number message just to close out the reading. So, I have 
five, five, I'm optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life experience. It will change your path's direction. So be open and stay positive. It says five, 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 I'm optimistic. I have zero. I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You're gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. And that's zero. That's zero point creation. It's also zero. That looks like a ring. It could be talking about commitment and infinity for sure. Um, and I have six. I am nurturing. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. That is another one of your uh, affirmations. Okay, and then I have 66. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you're manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. And that is what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me as always. Bye-bye.